I saw some crazy video and you're doing a, an awesome dance to a yoga song. Oh, yeah. On a mountain. Yoga, yoga dance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was funny. You know why? Why? I, I, I did that uh, when we arrived at the top with uh, uh, this research team. To Mount the Kilimanjaro, the, the top of where? Uh, in Poland. Oh, in Poland, okay. It, it's in Poland in wintertime. Mm -hmm. And we're, and yes, um, we go always to the, uh, the summit over there after four days of training. Wow. In, all in short, like five hours mm -hmm. exposed to the cold, wow. freezing temperatures, yeah. and enabling us to make funny, you know, do funny things. Yeah, the science part is important. Yeah, um, the drive. Yeah. Uh, why, uh, why, why? Why you do it? Why I do what I do? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and keep on doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, I always like to, you know, to discover new areas, new dimensions of the life itself. Yeah, yeah. and not to be conditioned. Yeah. Um, and uh, the conditioning, which is related to the comfort zone of controlling. Yeah. I don't like that. I, 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 that's why I always want to refine myself in nature. So in a couple of days, I go back to the Kilimanjaro yeah. and climb with 27 people. Wow. And the oldest participant yeah. is 76 years old. Wow. I have to take care that he is able yeah. to reach the summit not only like uh, uh, <coughs> reaching the summit of the Kilimanjaro, but yeah. also in a record time. Yeah. So uh, something more than a day yeah. to the summit. And then with a person without prior experience right. in mountaineering, I think that's a great, big challenge. Huge challenge. I, I, I like to show the world we are able to do so much more if we just go out of our ways, um, uh, uh, rigid patterns of yeah. thinking. Yeah. And and uh, and therefore, you know, the uh, the connection between the body and the mind yeah. changes a paradigm shift. That's what I try to create, not only by doing all this yeah. myself, but showing that everybody actually is very able to yeah. do so much more that we ever thought possible. Yeah. Because like three years ago, I began to go and climb with uh, all kinds of people in, uh, in you know, physiologically looking at it by the experts and the physiologists yeah. Yeah. telling me, this is not possible. It's impossible, with yeah. It's impossible. With people, even with diseases, no prior mountaineering experience. Right. <laughs> Three days, in short, yeah. to the top of the Kilimanjaro. Yeah. That uh, that uh, we don't want to link with this expedition. Right. This is irresponsible. People are going to die. Yeah, and uh, they have all these diseases. And uh, you know what we did? We didn't do it in three days. We did it in two days. Two days. Yeah. And I did not hear anything of these experts and these physiologists anymore. Yeah. So last year I did it again. Not in two days, in 31 hours. Wow. Now, the oldest participant is 76 years old. Yeah. And I still try to beat the old record. <laughs> you know? How many, people, yeah, yeah. how many people did it last time with you? This one's 27 people. Is it going to go with you? Last, uh, first uh, group was 26. 26. Then 20, then yeah. 20, and now 27. Yeah. What's your biggest concern? with the 76 year old or anyone else in the group? I, uh, 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 simply, uh, uh, I have to watch him. Yeah. I have to watch, he is a 76 years old, he's got a great spirit. Yeah. But I have to see if his body, uh, if he listens to his body. Yeah. I think he is able, by using the techniques properly, yeah. really going through the fear, and I'm looking at him, I'm going to go with him, then in that flow, you will be able to go up. But I uh, have to stay um, 
in connection with this man, you know, to yeah. be aware of this man. Yeah. Not only of this, uh, like 12, 12 or 13 women, too. Yeah. <coughs> they all going to do it in there, you know, barely uh, dressed, barely clothed. <laughs> right. Uh, pure nature. It's hard, but righteous. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, it's over before they know, be, before they understand it. So, it, it, it is done yeah. because they will go as deep as in, into the brain where there are no words. Yeah. There is just sensations, pure primordial feelings. Yeah. And they have to uh, get into that and just keep on. Shut yeah. up with your mind and just do it. Yeah. Just go to it. And the, the just do it. Is nothing more than uh, than uh, taking on that primordial uh, feeling, sensation, yeah. and uh, do it consciously. Yeah. And then, and then we are able to do so much more. And that uh, that uh, it has been shown, Jeremy, in the university, that people doing these breathing techniques and using their focus, mm -hmm. which is feeling, focus is feeling, they produced. Lying in bed, more adrenaline hmm. than somebody uh, uh, going into its first bunker jump in fear. Wow. And compared the blood results with the two research, uh, conducted to research yeah. programs. Yeah. So it is really going controlled into the pure, pureness of the yeah. stress hormone release the adrenaline, epinephrine, the survival mode. Yeah. But now consciously and totally in tune and in peace, in control with the deepest part of the brain, yeah. which is hypothalamus, pineal gland, uh, amygdala, and all that, the brain stem, yeah. reptilian. And we know how to control that one. Yeah. And so I, I get them over there. And I really talk to these people. Are you really there? And uh, of course, if you got some something going on in your mind uh, uh, as a reserve, yeah, then you're going to be uh, 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 then you're going to be punished, or you're going to harm yourself up there uh, because there there is no space for error in an attitude. Yeah, you got to be open and open. Totally in order to interact with the fast uh, changing circumstances of going so fast in the ascent. Yeah. Uh, because the body, normally with the attitude as we live in the comfort zone, is not able to adapt. That's why these physiologists and these experts told us. But these are the physiological barriers. This is scientifically proved. Right. People are going to die. We don't want to link with this. We are the experts. You don't know, etc. You're just a renegade or this or that. And I told them, no. What I learned is not out of the books. Yeah. What I learned is coming from nature. Yeah. And the cold is merciless. Yeah. But righteous as well. What did it you find you. the last group, the last group that you took to Mount Kilimanjaro? What was the toughest part? What were some of the people saying was the toughest part of that, that journey for them? Um, the toughest part is the, is the interesting, interesting. Yeah, many are, of course, physiologically the last part. But if people are, were, were so motivated until almost 5,000 meters, which is, 15,000 feet. Yeah. Very, very motivated. And, and then, you know, uh, 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 there were two people. Then, uh, the, the toughest part, I think, is th they got to listen to me. Yeah. Because I, I come from nature. I know what nature yeah. is. I'm a medium of nature. Yeah. And uh, I, I tell them, listen, I know what the mountain uh, 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 exerts of yeah. us asking of us it asks uh, obedience it asks uh, 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 you, you should uh, surrender to the mountain and be open because then the mountain is able the circumstances are able to change your physiology to 
be uh, adapted to the circumstances and go on and have sufficient uh, oxygen and pH levels and all that. And so you got to learn to listen. But yeah. some, some guys did not listen. You know what they do? When, when we arrived at, uh, uh, at the last camp before the summit, right. like uh, in a very accelerated uh, 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 pace, yeah. we got there and then people are really tired. Yeah. But they still got this. Uh, they they still got this uh, 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 the goal within uh, their heads, yeah. and that that makes them open to go and uh, and to do the last part. But then two of these guys, yeah, they 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 were like, ah, oh, I like to lie down, and uh, uh, no, why do we need to go now? And, They're doubting things. That, that little is taken away. The conviction of those people. Yeah. So that's uh, th this time I told everybody, you listen to me. Right. We are going to the top. We got it in our head, yeah. and nothing will come in between. Yeah. I know it will work if you just don't have your head messing up, uh, uh, whatever uh, blocks the uh, the adaptation, which is natural when you are open. And you are able to do so much more, but don't get in between. So you listen to me. So yeah. I make sure that's for me the toughest part. Yeah. B beside of that, to take this uh, uh, older guy, the the seventy six year yeah. old, older guy, Hank, uh, to to take him uh, to the top and to guide him, because his spirit is uh, uh, is surrendering, is uh, uh, humble. Yeah. Is okay. Is strong, but his body. Uh, he should not. You know, it, it's a very delicate point with him. And uh, but I, I really want to re reach with him in a record yeah. time, the the summit to show the world. Hey man, seventy six years old. Yeah. In shorts, in <laughs> something more than one day, right. getting to the summit. Th this is far, far. Past beyond no going limitations. Any, yes. Yeah. So if we are able to show that once again, people it will open up people's eyes, and this is just in a couple of days beginning. Yeah. So I'm very excited right now, doing that, and yeah. every time when I do a record, yeah. you know, in the ice or swimming under the ice, yeah. or I think you have 21 of them at this point, yeah. or, or anything, you know, in the extreme. Yeah. I'm very, very excited. I, I, I'm silent. I, I, I'm, I know I, I got to be like an animal, like nature. Yeah. Uh, pure, pure into nature. I got to yeah. uh, I got to uh, be obedient to the natural laws within, and it, and it enables me that what I program me to do, like a, a like a record or this or that, to become hundred percent feeling. Yeah. And. And and not go beside of that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, th that's the way. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I am especially excited. We have Wim Hof. He's known as the Iceman for his ability to withstand extreme cold and control his autonomic nervous system. More remarkable, Wim, is, in my opinion, your proven ability that this can be learned and you've actually taught other people. And we're going to talk about the study when you train people to, you know, they got injected with the endotoxin with no side effects. You know, you led groups to Mount Kilimanjaro in just shorts. You hold, you know, Wim holds 21 world records, including one staying immersed in ice up to his neck for an hour and 52 minutes, which completely baffled scientists and myself until I took his course. Uh, he reached the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in his shorts within two days. Climbed Mount Everest wearing nothing but shorts and shoes. Completed a half marathon above the Arctic Circle in Finland in temperatures close to negative 20. 
uh, Celsius and negative four Fahrenheit dressed in nothing but shorts and even went to the opposite extreme and did a marathon in the desert without water. Wim, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. You know, there's so many questions. And the first one I want to ask was, what was the closest call to death for you? Uh, first time I, um, I had to go under the ice in the, in the beyond the polar circle. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, like a thick layer of ice, one meter, yeah. like a yard of ice. Yeah. And I swam beneath it to the other hole. And uh, the other hole was like 50 meters uh, f further, like yeah. 60 yards or something. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I lost sight because I had no goggles on, so I lost sight. Mm. And uh, I could not find the hole. Wow. I swam past the hole a couple of times and I, I couldn't find the hole. So that uh, actually it was the greatest distance I ever swam beneath yeah. uh, 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 ice. And uh, 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 at a certain point, I, I lost sight. Wow. Uh, be, uh, you know, it narrows and then you are going to sleep. You know, uh, and that was a very close call to death. Yeah. Because I went into an unconscious state almost. Yeah. And then finally, a diver, he, he grabbed me by the ankle and brought me back to uh, the, the, the 50 meter hole, the yeah. 60 yard hole. And, uh, but uh, there I almost, uh, I almost died. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but I, I never felt the agony. I, I, felt, I only felt that I was going to sleep. Yeah. And you know why? Why? Because the breathing techniques yeah. I use, they make me so alkaline yeah. that there is no agony. That you're so, I was so alkaline yeah. that the body is just going into sleep like an animal. Yeah. When it's going to die, it doesn't die like, uh, 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 like uh, many people being afraid of uh, dying. Yeah. Because it's uh, their pH levels in their body are not right, and so the body is very uh, 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 impeded or you know blocked for g uh, retrieving yeah. back into the central nervous system and die. You know, just go out. Animals uh, uh, are dying at ease yeah. because their pH levels are right. And what I do, what is what I do with my breathing techniques? Before yeah. I go into the ice, yeah. bringing up the pH level very high. So whenever I have no oxygen anymore, my pH levels are yeah. still great. And uh, therefore, I don't feel the agony. Yeah. I don't feel uh, 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 it retrieves in the body. Yeah. And that's, that, that's what I learned at that moment. And I lost fear for dying. Yeah. I, I solved the question, you know, uh, the, the, the fear of death is just having no control over your physiology. Yeah. Just to give people an example, what's in, like a person not trained normally, they jump into those same waters. How, how quickly do they die and become hypothermic? I think they uh, sh get into shock. Yeah. Uh, because uh, their vascular system is not uh, conditioned. Right. Uh, uh, to close well around the core. Yeah. And if it is not uh, uh, that, then the surface temperature directly goes into the core temperature. Yeah. And that makes the heart go boom, boom, uh, irregular because it is not able to uh, 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 to stay warm. Right. And uh, to, uh, uh, cold is coming in too fast, so only a couple of uh, degrees besides uh, of our normal core temperature yeah. makes us dysfunctional. Yeah. And that, thus people, yeah, they get into shock. There is no functionality with too cold a blood in the core. So what do I do with people? Yeah. Uh, I train them uh, uh, gradually going into, uh, into the cold and uh, rising, therefore, their, their vascular system the condition of the vascular system 
And that's what you do right now with the course. Right, it is right. Gradually, yes, gradually developing a better condition, vascular condition. And then at a certain point, you're very able to get into, say, extreme yeah. extremes. Because we are built to do so. Who is it? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, 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 yeah. Shut down. Shut down. Good. Um, it's not even so, that, you know, gradual. It's almost, it's in, almost not even gradual. It's almost, when I've been practicing them, it's almost instantaneous. You feel instantaneous changes. Like yes. holding your breath and withstanding. I'm in Chicago. It's not as cold as we are, but um, going outside and just, I always thought it's it's all about no limitations, like you said, realizing, oh, I have to bear this cold. Well, you don't have to using your methods. Yes. So it's very powerful. Uh, you know what people need, actually, uh, to take cold showers. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, we are doing studies right now uh, and, uh, with the university trying to make the 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 uh, the, the brain body connection mm -hmm. as fast as possible with a, 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 a the most simple uh, techniques using the research. yes to get at uh, 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 in the in the depth of the physiology yeah. which means the endocrine systems yeah. as well as the immune systems yeah what has been to try to make it as simple as possible yeah More, uh, you know accessibility yeah. Oh, Wim, so, I mean, you talked about your closest call to death, and I'm curious, what feat were you going to try that your kids were trying to talk you out of, your children? Which one did they not want you to try? Interesting. Never. You Never? Know, <laughs> you know why? why because yeah. they know me. Only before a record. If they saw me being yeah. intranquil, you know, unrestful, yeah, uh, then then they would say, "Dad, don't do this." Yeah, because we know you. Yeah, when you are in control. When you have peace yeah. before a record, then nothing will happen. But if they would have seen me being unrestful, then they would have say, uh, 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 "Try to talk me out of it." Yeah. Yeah. Was there a time that they saw that? No, not really. No. Uh, no, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to hear about Mount Everest. You know, because when, when, you, when people say that, you know, it's hard enough to climb it and then you're in shorts and shoes. What was it like um, when you went to that, uh, you know, you, you started to decide to do that and went on Mount Everest? Yes, um, I just um, be, prior for uh, 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 for going to Mount Everest, yeah. I did a marathon on Everest as well. You did in shorts, barefoot. Wow, we got a footage. It's there. It's all there. Yeah. Like six hours. Yeah, barefoot on five thousand meters. Wow. So that that's base camp level. Then yeah. be, I saw that. And then I thought, hey, man, I'm actually very able to go far more and do so much more than just a marathon on, uh, on 15,000 feet yeah. barefoot. So then I, I just get, I felt when, whenever I feel I can do something, yeah. then, then I know uh, the feeling is not lying. The yeah. feeling is there and it's real. And I will be able to do whatever I feel because yeah. I learned how to feel and to trust the feeling. And this feeling gives me confidence because it's besides of what I think it is. No, it's what I feel. And what I feel always is part of nature. So yeah. I, I translate this and uh, then uh, I, I say to myself, hey, why not uh, climb uh, uh, like uh, uh, what was the one the, the first uh, climb by uh, what what is name of New Zealand? Um, 
this guy, the the first one who who, who summited Everest, yeah, he did it in clothes and oxygen, right. And then the second challenge was to do it only with clothes, right. And then I told myself, okay, and then now it is the challenge to go go almost bare naked, yeah, which is a, 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 a which is a challenge even more. And you know what? On Mount Everest, if you acclimatize well, if you are there and you listen to the natural laws, then you are very able to go past all these physiological so-called barriers, uh, uh, which everybody is uh, exclaiming about, and uh, it's so hard, this and that. You know what happens too when you have clothes on and dressed, you are not in tune with nature. You are just, you know, there is no interaction. Yeah. It, it, it's a different interaction. So I found out that if you go bare chested, yeah. then your, your interaction with nature is far deeper. And you listen different. And you act different. And you adapt different. And then you see that you are able to do so much more. And you feel it. And you have confidence in it. And that's the way I went up. And you know what happened when I was at 6,000 meters, like yeah. 18,000 feet? And I had no guide. I had no Sherpa. I was really fast. And uh, going in shorts. Yeah. I, 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 I suddenly found myself in a whiteout. Wow. You know, well, snow yeah. all over. And you, there is no path over there. It's nothing. And uh, it's so only white. I had no guide. I never had been there, yeah. but then uh, what took over was my intuition yeah. and instinct. And they, I know them. They, they, I trust them. It gave me peace at that moment. Yeah. What did I you do? You know, no panic. I just went on. Three hours later, I reached uh, uh, advanced base camp at 6,400 meters. For me, that was uh, the, the greatest challenge of Mount Everest, yeah. the wide out, the, the yeah. finding myself and the confidence and the trust and the peace a at that moment, being completely alone yeah. for hours where there is no path, where there is less than half the oxygen and, uh, and you just go on and, and yeah. it's all okay. That intense, deep awareness makes you you know makes you so strong yeah what and, do you and, do and what do you do in that moment when the whiteout occurs mentally yeah, and, and physically what do you personally do in that moment we are people we think normally you think oh a panic comes because you don't know how to deal with right. anything what, what is happening right but uh, at that moment uh, with me at that moment, uh, yeah. I, I, I I saw myself. I, I I was witnessing how at ease I I was right. in, in the middle of that storm. I was looking at me at that moment, and uh, uh, with my you know the brain, the the, the the witness, the man who contemplates, who thinks, mm -hmm. and is a but I'm okay. And uh, the, uh, finding that peace yeah. at that moment, you will very rarely find those moments because we never exposed to uh, uh, nature that way an yeah. uh, anymore. So we do not, we don't find out that uh, that, that confidence, that mm. deep trust, that the the ability of the body to do so yeah. much more than we think. We always control, control, control. Yeah. But it is so beautiful to find such a depth within, and yeah. it's there. And uh, there is no sentiment. It's pure power, like a streaming river, yeah. like, a, like, a, a, like something beautiful. And it's there. And that, that, for, uh, that, that was the, uh, the biggest challenge on Mount Everest to me. Yeah. Later on, I did North Call. I went down to seven, uh, uh, like uh, to twenty thousand feet, or uh, and more, and it was all okay, you know. But that 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 wide out gave yeah. me an insight into the depth mm. 
of my of my of natural human being in the purest yeah so yeah that, that's what that, you do so mentally most... mentally that's what you do what about physically at that time of the way out are there certain breathing exercises you did in that moment or to get through that or what do you do physically yeah you you know what happens so they they saw in the university yeah when i concentrate I, I, I just be, before i go into a ice tank yeah being immersed here yeah, up till the neck yeah that uh, they uh, they took the blood yeah what uh, 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 and i wasn't moving i was just standing there right. i programmed my with my mind my body and they saw in the blood that the cell metabolic activity was risen with 300 percent wow you know that's the thought doing yeah so you focus you focus and the breathing together enable you to get into cell activity and even into the DNA. It has been shown. So every time I do something, you know, a record or this or that, I just have my mind all together, do my breathing, tune and go past fears created by the mind. Yeah. I just go deep within, bang, and do it. And this is the way I teach people to go past their fears as mm -hmm. well. Like uh, like two days ago, we had the last meeting of the Kilimanjaro group. Yeah. And I uh, I just hit them, you know. I, I just say, uh, you, stand up. You tell who you are, what you do. Are you ready? And then, you know, go past fears and go past attitudes. Yeah. And see if they are really on. I know what focus is all about and what is uh, the right breathing, what the depth in the person can do and should do. And in this case, for example, with these 27 people, I need yeah. to make sure nobody's going to die because of, they are full of shit because they got an attitude. Yeah. And on the mountain, you're going to be broken down uh, easily. Yeah, and especially because we go extremely fast yeah. uh, rega uh, compared, uh, you know, regarding uh, uh, to the physiological written scientific laws of our physiology. Right. Now, we go fast because we uh, uh, go into that depth which has not been uh, researched by science up till now. Yeah. That's why we have shown... Uh, with this group, 100% sure, everybody, more, much more than significantly, to tap into the autonomic nervous system, yeah. as well as the immune systems. So we have shown that, but uh, up till then, it, it, it is the first evidence that we got into the autonomic nervous system with a whole group, just in a couple of days. Just tune them well, Get rid of all the attitudes and go past the fears and tap into the deeper potential we all got. How long that, did the last group uh, that you took to Kilimanjaro in their shorts, how long did they train with you for before going on the expedition? I, uh, uh, in four months, four days. Four months? Four days. Four I days. Mean, every month, uh, every month, one day. Really? I trained them, and then the rest is homework. Okay. And so what are some of those key components that you can tell people about uh, that's part of the training that allows someone in their shorts to get to the top of Kilimanjaro? Is this part of the online course as well? Yeah, sure. Yeah. The, the online course is systematically and gradually going into mm -hmm. the uh, inner depth yeah. you have. <clears throat> and anybody ha has it's only a matter of um, conviction within yeah. uh, 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 to go as deep as you want uh, I, the thing is what I always say we are made naturally as it uh, was meant to be as nature has meant it to be to become happy, strong and healthy yeah. A happy, that means hormones, have control over your hormones. 
Strong means control over the hormones as well. And healthy means control over the immune systems. So we tapped in. We showed it scientifically that we are able to go far deeper into the endocrine systems, the hormonal system, uh, and the immune systems. So anybody who is taking on the online course yeah. will arrive at the possibility to tune with his uh, body in the depth. And it's only up to you, to your focus to go past the conditioning of daily life. Because these techniques, they have been distilled and tested and uh, in heart nature. Yeah. And uh, these are just very simple techniques, but yeah. it needs conviction and focus, motivation. Yeah. As, as the mind has been uh, shown in the university to be able to, by standing still, ignite three times 300% more metabolic activity in the cell, that means focus. So the techniques work, and uh, together with the focus, yeah, then you get, yeah. uh, then you will be getting there. And this is the way uh, uh, I train the, these people in four months, yeah. and I give them so home, homework, and yeah, I say, I say, hey man, you you need to be uh, convict. Uh, you need uh, your conviction to develop because if you don't, if you have reserves and you still are yeah. uh, still are, are conditioned, then the mountain is going to break you. What I do know. they do to practice or train for that conviction? Running, breathing, focus, cold exposure. Yeah, the fall. Yeah. So they meet with you once per month and the rest of the month they do the training. What's another part of the training that you could talk about to give people an idea? Um, like what are people doing on a daily basis to get ready? Oh, that, uh, in the morning on empty stomach? Yeah. You do the breathing techniques? Yeah. During the day, you... Uh, use uh, more conscious breathing, conscious deeper breathing, yeah. and uh, a push-up exercise. Uh, it just takes four minutes yeah. to reset the nervous system, as well as your body. I mean the muscular uh, muscular system. And learning to influence the the muscle tissue is bringing up the pH level controlled yeah. and conscious. Yeah. That, that, that's one and that's what you learn with the push-ups then you have these the, the horse stance for example mm -hmm. sometimes try a horse stance say for one hour barefoot outside in the snow that's anybody can do this yeah it's learning how to control the ph level yeah. because with a low ph level you're not able to perform yeah so if you are able to control the ph level and bringing it up you keep on doing it. And that's mm. the that's the control over the chemistry inside. Yeah. yeah. Become a alchemist, man. Yeah. And, 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 and like animals do, I don't see animals going to a psychiatrist. They don't take Prozac. <laughs> they are not going to hospitals right. and, and, and pharmacies. Yeah. That's our inventions. Because we, we suffer from low pH levels all the time. Yeah. Our chemistry is really... It's really sick. Some many, too many people suffer from all kinds of diseases, and they don't know anymore. They they have no connection with the body anymore. Yeah, they have no connection with the chemistry anymore. Yeah. And what we do, what I do, is simply take charge of your own chemistry. We are very able to do that, and nature has made us to uh, be able to tap into the physiology anytime. To produce happiness, strength, and health. Yeah, it's all there. It's endocrine systems yeah. and immune systems. Yeah, and Wim, you know the breathing techniques are so powerful. I've been practicing them, and I encourage people to go to WimHoffMethod.com. And you even have, if you go to video dash mini class, you even give that information away. 
uh, and that alone is powerful. Could you explain and demonstrate a little bit because about the breathing technique um, and what people can try at home for themselves? And I encourage you, you know, you have a long extended, you know, video on Wim Hof method dot com that people should check out. But um, can you explain a little bit about that now and, and demonstrate it? Because you could do this stuff instantaneously. People can make change instantaneously. Yes, it, it, it is all. It, 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 I just had the English t television here and they made a documentary in two days. Uh, 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 one hour documentary in two days because the, the information, the signs and the instant, almost instantaneous effectiveness of this mm. Uh, method is is truly going deep into the brain, and it, uh, it, uh, the presenter, the host of this television, he is a he is a neuroscientist, and he knows about. Uh, he wrote he wrote this book. Sort your brain out. Yeah, uh, you know what he tells. What's he saying? He, 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 is, he is saying. Dear Wim, you will no doubt teach me things I didn't know about my brain. <laughs> uh, once again, Jeremy, it is uh, we have shown in the hospital to yeah. tap into the primitive part of the brain. Yeah. You know, the, the adrenal uh, part, yeah. the adrenaline part, the hypothalamus, the brainstem, yeah. the, pre, uh, the, the reptilian mode. A and to go from a sympathetic nervous system activity in the brain to parasympathetic nervous system, what, uh, w which is going from the hectic of the world and the calculations into the limbic system, which is yeah. the peace. And, uh, and, and... Uh, uh, where uh, normally it takes years of training, mindfulness, and all this and that, and now it takes only ten minutes. Right. And that's the power of yeah. this. Yeah. And it, you have to understand that this is scientifically endorsed. Yeah. And it has been shown with uh, uh, sensors in in the in the nervous system, in the even the autonomic nervous system. They saw it, and very soon we will show it with MRIs and fMRI spectrographics. Yeah, I mean they have infra if you go on your site, you can see like the infrared videos and things like that. You know that are showing it documented also. Yes. Yeah. So, what I, I want to show the people, just do this breathing exercise, like thirty breaths, like. It just be silent. At first, relax, 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 relax. Okay, easy does it. Hey, man, are you relaxed? Hmm. Oh, do you need to go with your woman uh, somewhere uh, before you are relaxed? So, uh, do something, dance. Oh, no. you know, take away this attitude and be relaxed. Yeah. Okay, relax. Yeah. And then uh, I make them stand in the room. Okay, now are you all relaxed? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and then we begin. Inhale deep, come on. And let go. And deeply in. And let go. And deeply in. Letting go. Keep on, keep on, keep on doing this. You become lightheaded, loose in the body, and tingling might occur. That's the nervous system getting more oxygen than normally, roaming freely pH levels go up. We are influencing muscle tissue right now. Just keep on. Don't think, just feel. Intensify whatever you feel right now. Out of the ordinary, out of your being conditioned, you feel something different. And that's uh, that difference, intensify that difference. Just get into it more. Then you will be able to tap into the deepest part of your physiology, change the chemistry, and do more than uh, than you ever did before. And that's what I make people do, just in four minutes. And what happens in the brain is enormously as well. You tap into the deepest part of the brain. And we will show very soon an uh, MRI uh, next month. 
But just do, uh, keep on doing this. This is a great exercise. Great exercise. Last 10 times. Come on, Jeremy. Take him in. Let it go. Take him in. Let it go. It's all nature, man. Take him in. Let it go. Take him in. Let it go. Five more. Take him in. Let it go. Take him in. You do your best. The best will come about. And two more. Two. And one. And now, deeply in. Let it go. Stop. And then you do the push-ups. After exhalation, push-ups now. That's what we do. You know what happens? You, uh, uh, you, you vacuum yourself with oxygen so fast that the survival mode is, is triggered completely and adrenaline gets in the body and cleanses and resets the body, bang, to its best of functionality. And that's what we have lost because of comfort zone and everything. And uh, the pH levels have really got up. So they actually are there in their superb natural mode. And the superb natural mode is something like the right chemistry where the immune system uh, can be connected and uh, endocrine systems, enabling you to maintain and control your own happiness, strength, and health. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and the other thing about it is at the end you teach people, you know, hold your breath, but you, you teach people to hold your breath when you, after the exhale, which is really yes. interesting. And at last night I did it and it was like three minutes that I could, I could do amazing. it. Amazing. Yeah. Do you see that, that, that not, uh, is not only amazing. It's a, it's no hocus pocus. It is just a magic of the physiology itself. Uh, what happens, what we do is, Bring about, uh, 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 bring about uh, the, the CO two goes out because the pH levels they go up. Uh, 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 the CO two goes out, pH levels get up, yeah. and uh, and uh, uh, then you are a very able because of the pH levels going up. Yeah, and you can test it. Eh? You can test it with these acidic uh, alkaline strips. Yeah, you can you can uh, pH strips, whatever. You need know, these papers, little papers. You piss on them before, and then you do the breathing, and then you piss uh, again. And then you see from a being acidic to a high alkaline pH levels. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and disease, that, you know, the important thing is the disease doesn't survive in alkaline environments, right? Exactly. That, that, that's one thing. Uh, 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 it's a modern uh, uh, these modern autoimmune diseases all uh, are caused of long chronic existence or uh, of uh, or presence of low pH levels. Then uh, yeah, then uh, if you if you mess with the uh, if you mess with the chemistry, then in the end it's gonna uh, collapse. And that's what all, what all the autoimmune uh, diseases are all about. Those are not my words anymore. Those are, are of the professors. And they tell me, and they t told me as well, that the uh, shown blood results, they, uh, they show that all, almost all the autoimmune diseases, we can you know, just get them out of our way. Because we t took away uh, the cause. Now... What, what happens? What happens with this exercise after? That, uh, that means uh, the, the retention after exhalation. Yeah. The retention after exhalation uh, is when we brought up the pH levels. You can test it. You can just show yourself. Anybody can do it. Yes. And then and, and, uh, after one and a half minute, we have show, uh, seen this in the university, the oxygen really gets out of the blood uh, drastically from 100% mm. to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. It's where people normally die, but we, we, got the, we, we, uh, we have risen the pH levels, so there is nothing going on. People who are dying with 50% uh, saturation of mm. oxygen in the blood they, they, they are acidic, and we are the opposite. We are alkaline. Yeah. And so, 
a, a, a we have seen in the university not only going to 50 after one and a half minute, two minutes, two and a half minutes, then you 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 can uh, uh, show that yourself by using an oximeter, you know, the heart rate and yeah. the saturation of the blood. You can show, uh, you, you will see what happens with, 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 with uh, a doctor with, yeah. when you are uh, like 85, that, that's a person with a lung uh, emphysema, very severe emphysema. And a, a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, very dangerous. Right. But we get not only to 50, we get to 40, we get to 30. And, and the apparatus, the, the, the measurement device, just shuts down because for science and the measurements uh, devices they created, they say, yeah, people are, are, are dying. The person's dead at this are, point and they don't need to measure uh, that low. Yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, so Controlled and consciously, hmm. we go uh, so deep into the physiology yeah. and make things happen. And after so, after one and a half minute, the uh, the oxygen gets out of the blood, but the pH levels are still up, so nothing is going on. What happens now if the oxygen gets out of the blood? Then uh, in the brain, we got this parameter who says, "Hey, if there is no oxygen." Then we get adrenaline going as fast as possible. Mm. And that's what happens every ah, time. I see. Then the, the body gets into this. You know, lying in bed, eh? you feel okay. There's no rhinoceros coming to you <laughs> or, a, or a truck or you're not falling. There's nothing going on. Just tripping there in the bed, doing breathing exercises. That's what you do. But you trick the mind, the brainstem. Yeah. And... The adrenaline uh, uh, is getting you in the best possible physiological, mm. natural state of you. Mm. And then they, they injected these people with the endotoxin yeah. and bacteria. Yeah. The bacteria in a quarter, they all had the control, 100%. See, what? You say, yeah, I want you to talk about that, the endotoxin experiment that they actually tracked, but... I want you to go back to the breathing for a second, Wim, and talk about when you you were in up to your neck, if anyone's watched the video, in ice in this tank. Um, how many breathing of those breaths do you take before they start pouring the ice? And then how many are you taking before they start yes, pouring the you, ice? I got you. Yeah. You know, it goes all along with feeling. Yeah. You feel when you are saturated with oxygen uh, that means when the ph I levels are, are going up yeah that you are very able to um, um so you just know your body so you at a point you're like yes. i'm good at this point yes. uh, exactly yeah. how so, many uh, how many did it take do you remember when you broke that world record almost two hours what do you know how many minutes you were doing the breathing or how many breathing exercises it took to saturate you at that point? Just uh, 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 maybe two hours or something. Uh, uh, I just go into my breathing because yeah. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. You, uh, uh, you're you not going to think about the worries of tomorrow when you got to do a record. Right. You, you're going to think about the, that. You just breathe deeply. That brings about peace. I'm training this world, uh, uh, one of the best fighters of, uh, of, of nowadays, which is Alistair Overeem. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you know what he did? What? Uh, he did breathing as well. That's yeah. why he won the last time. Yeah. Uh, he was the underdog, but I trained him. So uh, I brought him in a state where uh, the, uh, the other guy couldn't get to him. Because his electricity is right. His yeah. pH levels are right. right. And he is at ease. He, before uh, going into uh, uh, this big fight, yeah. he, he is at ease. He has complete control over himself. Yeah. Instead of you know, the tensions of a, a, big, ga a, big, uh, right. a, a big game or a big fight, it, it's really tensions. Yeah. You, uh, maybe uh, others around you that they don't notice it, but you notice it. Right. But he, uh, he told me, I was doing the breathing all the, all the time uh, because your mind wants to go to the, 
you know, to the fight and you don't have control over the mind and yeah. so it makes you tranquil and yeah. it senses your body and this and that. But it was no longer there. I, I, I was just doing breathing. Yeah. And he was relaxed. He had complete control over the pH levels inside. Yeah. And then you are able to connect by the mind with the body and turn the table. Yeah. Got him? I, I, so yeah, yeah. I, what I do before I record. Yeah. What about during? During the record, are you doing the breathing throughout? Uh, uh, they, uh, uh, we had just completed a, uh, a full study on the pH levels. Yeah. And pain. You know, cold is like pain. Yeah. It's a very connected. There's a pain signal. It's connected to the temperature signals. Yeah. Because a, a, a too cold is dangerous for, for the body. So you got to do something. Are we able to intervene and to uh, disconnect the, the pain signal, which is uh, uh, co uh, composed by three proteins? If you bring up the pH levels uh, consciously to 7.6, then the, it, it disentangles the pain signal. Two of the proteins go away, and you got, only got a monomer, uh, just one, and then there is no pain. But at that moment, because the pH levels are so high, it, the pain signal does not need to be there because there is no danger right. because the H levels are there, and thus the the pain signal doesn't take the energy. It's no signal anymore, so energy is released, and the and the temperature uh, signal uh, receptor is able to deal a whole lot better with the existent cold impact, yeah. for example. Yeah. So I bring up the pH levels, and uh, that's the way I deal. Uh, <coughs> Uh, with a deeper uh, potential of of myself yeah. in, in chemistry, chemically, and uh, uh, yeah, it gives me confidence. I know what to do. Yeah, uh, and this actually doesn't go only with the cold, because the cold is a force. Right. Also with the heat. Right. And also with uh, 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 oxygen deprivative st uh, uh, situations like Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro. Yeah. But also with grief. Grief is also impact on us. Mm. And if we bring up the pH levels therein, you become more in the moment, here and now, and it doesn't uh, uh, take over. Yeah. Uh, and uh, another, uh, uh, the last one, is the daily stress. Yeah. Daily stress is like having no uh, control over the stress hormone. And we have shown that within a half hour, we are able to tap into the uh, uh, adrenal uh, 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 adrenal uh, axis, like producing more adrenaline than somebody go lying in bed, than somebody going into its first bunker jump. That means control over the daily stress. Yeah. And uh, uh, these systems, we need to breathe more. We need to take cold showers. And to learn and to use the focus, the attention, which are neurotransmitters in the end, in the chemistry, uh, thoughts are neurotransmitters. It's yeah. an electrical signal inside the body. And with the right breathing, being consciously, you will be able to conf uh, confront or uh, any situation with so much more ease. Yeah. It gives you back confidence. And you better use your thought power to to yeah to to, to stay connected yeah. with it. It's really powerful, and there's so many applications to this. I want to talk to you about. I mean, there's obviously you talk about the athletic application. There's the disease application. There's people I watch. There's a documentary with you and this um, just stage four cancer patient that uses it um, for the athletes. I mean, this gives them. An advantage. What other athletes or programs are using your techniques? Uh, I got this Olympic sports uh, sporters, yeah. and I just recently I had uh, <coughs> a Texan guy from Texas. He came to me in Poland. Yeah, and he he was a silver medalist, uh, taekwondo. Yeah, 
and uh, he was very stiff. But in the end of the week, I, 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 he did splits. Huh. And I, 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 I learned him to do push-ups, like 50, 60 push-ups yeah. uh, without air in the lungs, and then stay one minute wow. uh, without uh, uh, one minute rest, and then do it again. Yeah. One minute rest, do it again. You know, yeah. that, that's bringing up the pH levels, controlled, enabling him to rise his condition to perform. So he's going to go for the gold medal uh, yeah. uh, come in, uh, uh, coming Rio de Janeiro, you know, in, the, in Brazil with the Olympics. And I, 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 can, I, I can train anybody to optimize their yeah. bodies and their, uh, the functionality of their uh, physiology because yeah. I know nature. I know it because of the cold, not of the books, right. of the by the cold. And now it's in the books. And you know what, Jeremy? Yeah. In the, the third year in the in the university books of America in the U.S., they they have a full chapter on us, on me, mm-hmm. on the Iceman, which is a stu- comparative study, uh, uh, and uh, it's about the endocrine systems and the yeah. immune systems. Yeah, it's a full chapter. So. But the applications are yeah. still not really implemented. Yeah. So why uh, do you think? And, why do you think it hasn't spread? I mean, you've been doing this for decades at this point. Why yes, do you think yeah. more people aren't using your techniques? I, I don't know. Uh, 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 that, that that's the the, the condition. It, it, it should it should cause a paradigm shift. Yeah. And I'm I'm. I'm into yesterday. I went to the university and uh, to uh, talk with the professors and doctors for ongoing studies. Yeah, people are very stubborn. I don't know where they don't want to get out of their com- uh, comfort zone, behavior or uh, rigid patterns of thinking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll wait. Uh, 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 I'm doing research because I don't like speculation. Right. And uh, uh, so I will show it. And anybody, anybody who is going to come in and um, um, make them feel astonished about themselves within 10 minutes. Yeah. Talk so. about the endotoxin, you know, because this is the mind-body connection proven in research with, with the study. I think there were 12 people. Not only you did it, but 12 people you trained, right? Yes. So I, I trained 12 people, actually 18 but 12, they experimented on 12 yeah. uh, because the rest were like uh, if somebody got uh, out of uh, f- functionality or whatever, then they would have uh, a spare one, right, and, right. And, like six. So I trained 18 in four days. And, you know, the, the yoga dance yes. was with one of the, those groups. Okay. And, and, and we arrived at the top and then I knew Hey, these guys are ready. Yeah. In four days. Ah, that it, was the group. Got it. Yes. Yeah. In four days after this, what? They will show in the hospital beds that they all will have the control over the immune system. Yeah. Making them able within 15 minutes to completely control the consequences of the endotoxin, the bacteria coming in, yeah. normally causing. Uh, a shivering, uncontrolled shivering, headaches and fever and overall agony. Yeah. And they uh, were making jokes after a quarter of an hour. Uh, I, I think uh, they play false uh, play because uh, I think that it's, it's just sugar water in my in my veins. They didn't think. They thought they were the pl- they thought they were the the placebo or something because it wasn't it wasn't an effect. No, no, no. They they knew. Oh, they knew. Uh, okay. They knew it was real, yeah. But they made jokes anyway, yeah. You know, yeah. They just say That's such cool. a control we had. We thought something was going to happen, but uh, we uh, it just uh, uh, they had control. So um, and, and that uh, was with uh, the breathing uh, technique. Uh, yeah. The control group, yeah. they all got sick. Yeah, that was with the breathing techniques, and what were they? visualizing what do you visualize in that moment mentally uh, uh, mentally you just go you you know with your mind hey man this is endotoxin i gotta breathe 
I go into the field and do my best as best as possible. So you give yourself. And at, at that moment, the breathing, together with that focus, they knew. They, you get a full, clear picture what's going on. They knew. And the toxin, you, you get it by your mind. Yeah, this is going to happen. And uh, and the sensation, uh, the, the, the being there in the hospital already, it was, you know, uh, uh, like uh, uh, getting to them. Get, get, this is really serious. Right. All these, all these devices, all these people in white coats and, 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 and all the attention they have and and focus and uh, on, on taking blood of me and all these apparatus and, uh, and, and all that made them really serious. Yeah. And I was there to guide, to see, make sure they were really uh, committed, uh, 100% uh, 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 lying in the bed yeah. and receiving the, and the toxin. So that's it. That's the focus and that's the breathing. And the, uh, what do you picture? The two that are what do you picture yes. and focus? Like, are you picturing your body, you know, the endotoxin yeah, in your body and squashing it? Or what? Like, I'm just wondering, what do you visualize? What are you picturing? Yes, What's yes. the focus on? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the focus is on really on breathing, having yeah. enough. Really? Uh, 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 yes. Uh, that, uh, that, that's one. And the other one, when I'm standing like two hours in a, a tank yeah. full of ice, yeah. then uh, I focus. Uh, sometimes on a uh, on a lamp, mm. and I try to uh, suck the energy out of the lamp. Mm. Yeah, uh, 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 we are I, with your mind. You are able to to have a, 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 a concentration, yeah. which is able to withdraw energy somewhere from somewhere else. Yeah. So it's not really a specific Major. visualization for them with the endotoxin of squashing a bacteria. Oh. It's really just focusing on the breath. And a lot easier. Just very easy. Yeah, just keep yeah. it simple and just do it. Right. That's amazing. And it is. And I think somewhere you were talking about the training with over the four days. And I think if I remember, Wim, that in the evenings you were drinking and having fun. It wasn't like this intense 24-hour training. Tell me about the, those four days that prepared them to just not have symptoms for this endotoxin. Amazing. Is huh? that true? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. uh, absolutely. Uh, in the evening, uh, uh, we relax completely and we had, uh, you know, guitar music and we had fun and we went too late, too bad. Uh, but uh, I felt it's it so was funny. okay. Right. Uh, uh, during the day, they were very committed. Right. So uh, I trust a feeling. Yeah. I don't trust schemes. I don't trust, you know, rigid patterns of following yeah. control area and all that yeah. it makes it narrows the consciousness yeah. and it limits the people and inhibits and makes them fearful and uh, uh, that's what i did it was a very nice four days we had a great time right. D during the day we uh, uh, you know what happens to they drink sometimes too much but what is too much when you have control over your chemistry? Right. And in the morning, when you uh, you uh, you wake up with a hangover, then you can see it as an experiment because if you do 20 minutes of this breathing techniques, yeah. the hangover is gone. Yeah, that's amazing. That means that you are applying a detox directly. Yeah. And and, and what is a bacteria? It, it needs detox as well. Right. So... You learn uh, it, the, the drinking part was more or less in a, a exercise as well. Right. And it became <laughs> really good. Yeah. Right. And then afterwards. Like that, we it, trained it, by we, drinking. That's what we did. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 If you want to uh, 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 learn about detox. Right. Uh, about uh, uh, bacteria is causing yeah. poison. Uh, so, some, you know, strange chemistry inside. Yeah. Poison does it, but uh, and, and they saw it in the hospital as well. This could be very good for people who are poisoned. Yeah, they are, but they still need to do the research. But they now see that the the chemistry is changing very fast. It's cleansing. 
it's raising pH levels and the neurotransmitters who really roam freely, very fast through the body, yeah, uh, brain body connection, and they still don't understand uh, uh, the whole thing. But I know what the whole thing is all, all yeah. about. It's just going back to the natural state of our chemistry inside consciously. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah, Wim, so the there's been stage four cancer, people with stage four cancer coming to you too. Yes. Right? What do you do with them? What do you tell them? Uh, same thing. Same Make thing. it al alkalize. 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 Yeah. Because cancer is just fermentation. And uh, it's the glucose. It, it goes by glucose. It's anaerobic. It goes anaerobically. Uh, and so it, it keeps on. And it doesn't like an alkaline environment. Okay. Uh, what we bring back is the mind once again. Yeah. You know, the mind was able to uh, to influence into metabolic uh, activity in the cell. Yeah. Uh, that's the mind. So be positive. Just go and just go straight. Otherwise, you go straight to hell. Right. Now you go to heaven. <laughs> right. that, that's, that, that's one thing. Right. And the one is alkalizing your body. Yeah. Keep on breathing. Go on, man. Go. And use the cold because the cold is all about the stimulation of the vascular system, bringing about, about more, you know, uh, stimulating the... the the condition of all the muscles and the reflexes of the vascular yeah. system, which then enables to get the blood flow going a lot better uh, and uh, with a lot more oxygen and alkalizing. Uh, if you take like two uh, uh, two minutes, a yeah. cold shower, your blood becomes alkaline. Yeah. What other so, important populations, Wim, do you think are so important to get your techniques in the hands of. You know, I see obviously disease, people with cancer, who else would be so important? This is so important. Uh, like uh, uh, Almost all, all the diseases, not almost, I say all the diseases yeah. are being helped by going back to the natural state of the uh, physiology. Yeah. And this is a very, very accessible and a direct way to get, uh, tap into the deepest parts of the physiology. Yeah. Uh, we have to recondition the people, the paradigm shift, make them think, hey man, comfort zone is this nice. This is possible. The, the, uh, comfort zone is nice, but even nicer is when the, the blood flow and the pH levels are within your control and your body, brain body connection shows you how to tap into the deeper potential, yeah. making you able to do so much more. Yeah. And you, you're not only going to feel a lot better because if everything is connected, you feel better. Yeah. It's logical. Yeah. And, but uh, the chemistry is right. And we, uh, we should bring it into healthcare. Yeah. Uh, but that all these medicines and pills yeah. and everything is not necessary anymore because they only suppress the whole. They don't go back to the cause. The cause of why we take pills is because uh, we, we get inflammation and they suppress the inflammation. No, you have to go to the pH levels yeah. and bring back the right chemistry. Yeah. Then you take away the cause because the, the body tells by the nerves, hey man, something is going on. That's why we have pain. What we do, we kill the pain signal. Who only is showing something is going on. And, and uh, we have to go back to the right chemical. Uh, that, that, that's why, and it has been shown, we did the pain study, anesthesia, just now, showing that if we rise the, uh, the pH level to right. 7.6, then the pain signal falls apart. Wow. Not only it brings back the natural chemistry right. and the chemical balance over there, and that's why there is no uh, uh, there is no cause for the pain signal to yeah. to to go uh, to to be there. Yeah. So we take away the cause, and then it, the chemistry is all right. Then uh, everything is all right. Yeah. So. That's it. So no simple. You know, since I'm only in week one of your online course right now, I have to ask this question. So in an ideal world, how much time should we spend on the breathing techniques per day? Uh, 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 okay. Where can people, uh, first of all, where can people find 
the no, course. I got, I, I, so, I got it. Yeah. It, it, the thing is, in, in the morning, if, if you want to uh, get your uh, get your body, your physiology in the best state yeah. possible, you need to go into the uh, the brainstem. Yeah. And the brainstem then ignites the adrenaline. Yeah. Therefore, we do the re- retentions after exhalation. Yeah. Uh, if we do it like four rounds on empty stomach. Four rounds of 30 the, uh, breaths. Like, like, no, what you did. You you did three minutes without three air minutes. in the lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you do 30 breaths, 30 of your breath techniques, and then right. retention. Okay. Yeah. And once you get to three minutes, that means that your body really is going into this adrenaline shot. Yeah. And when you get this adrenaline shot, then that's almost for all the, all of the day, all right, because mm-hmm. it brings, you know, uh, uh, your, uh, the, your body in the best possible uh, physiological shape. The chemistry is yeah. then right, and then I tell them during the day, breathe consciously, mm. because breathing consciously, the consciousness is nothing more than thoughts. Be thoughtful. Uh, with your breathing, yeah. then the neurological connection between the brain and the body, the brain-body connection, is being set. Yeah. So it's also about neurology. Mm-hmm. That's conscious breathing. With a conscious breathing, you maintain the right pH levels, and then the thought, which is a neurotransmitter, is able to travel through the body a whole lot better than without these, uh, w- w- without uh, the right pH levels. Yeah. So conscious breathing, and you can test it. Some people need twenty breaths. Some people need fifty-two uh, breaths. Yeah. Everybody has a different physiology, but everybody is able to see if he got seven point four uh, alkaline uh, uh, pH level in the blood. Then that's all right. That, then your body w- works just fine. Yeah. And so test it. Everybody tests it, can test it with a, a acidic alkaline strip yeah. and use it. You, use it for maintaining health, strength, yeah. happiness as being in the right brain-body connection. Yeah. Wim, how did the scientists, with the endotoxin experiment, how did the scientists explain because this this probably blew their mind right how did they explain that these group of people did not have any response to the endotoxin yeah yeah they uh, were completely uh torn off their conditioned right. ways of thinking that uh, or, uh, that science allows so they see the possibilities and they they believe in it now now they believe and they see we have to go step by step and analyze what this power is really all about right. and they are into analyzing and uh, I'm really surprised why not m- so much more universities are tapping into this yeah because it has such a potential yeah it is. it's so accessible so effective why not for God's sake why not uh, uh, and the professors whom I'm working with, uh, uh, they they are uh, yeah really uh, uh, astounded and astonished about uh, 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 about uh, all this, and they want to go on, <coughs> and they see it. So I get these professors who who go with lectures throughout the country yeah. here, and they are t- t- uh, and the title of their lecture for example is how to control the dna right and then underneath the ice man right uh, 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 how to control the dna that is of uh, professor capel who is a biochemist yeah he goes throughout the country and uh, the title is the ice man yeah and w- w- what is it we have shown that we are in the middle of the dna where normally we we are not and this time so clear and into the deepest parts of our cell. And it has been shown by blood results because he, he has made his interpretations. Yeah. 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 And 
Uh, and so they, they are not only astonished, uh, uh, they, they are like, you know, scientists, yeah. uh, very uh, people with reserves and uh, uh, very objective, a little bit dry, you know. But they see the results and they really, you know, it opens, uh, opens up their minds. Yeah. What so, makes you want to do the, is it for exposure to get it into the masses, these extreme feats that you do? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I do it uh, b- both by science now yeah. and spectacularly yeah. by showing that everybody is able to do that. You yeah. know what I did a month ago? What's that? A month ago, I went with uh, people like uh, six years to eight years, ranging, you know, yeah. the age, uh, going barefoot for one kilometer over the ice. Wow. So, showing with 549 people. That all the people could do it. Yeah. Even people with diseases, they, they could do this. And showing that uh, we have to change the way we think about our yeah. physiology. And I show it. I, I, I will show it any, any way possible. And yeah. make, it, make a lot of fun uh, 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 on the way. The, these 549 people yeah. in the beginning think, uh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. But they actually had a great time, and you could see all the eyes of the people. Yeah. Their hormonal homeostasis, their their hormones. They, they they were happy, not only happy, but also strengthening hormones got into the system, and you could see it. It's like natural drugs. Yeah. And this is what I want to show that we have so much untapped potential. Yeah. And we just want to bring it to, yeah, everywhere. Uh, uh, that we are all able to become happy, strong, and healthy once we get back in tune with ne- uh, yeah. nature. Yeah. Wim, what do you see as the hardest thing you've ever done? The hardest thing? Yeah, yeah. To, uh, you know, to to get through to people. Really? That's a, <laughs> a long time. That, that That's a long time, yeah? Yeah. yeah uh, it took me 30 years, 35 years to get it by science and by showing yeah. spectacularly. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. you know, by um, Mount Everest and this and that. I'm a, I'm a very stubborn man. I'm a, I'm a believer. <laughs> I just stick to my beliefs. Man. Right. It's I not climbing Mount Everest. It's so funny. What's the hardest thing you've ever done? It's not climbing Mount Everest in my shorts I and tried shoes. To it's try to your wife. It's <laughs> try to convince your wife. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. You know what? Though I wrote down something for this. What I think one of the hardest things that you've done, actually, is you raised four kids by yourself. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I, I lost my wife in '95. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I, I had four kids with her. I loved her uh, literally to death. Yeah, uh, and uh, it was an accident. So, but you know, heartbroken, being heartbroken, and stay stay behind with four kids, right? And uh, and raise them. Right now, they work with me, right? And they are big. They help me, and they and they love it, and yeah. they believe. And uh, it's also it's so great uh, harmony we have, and uh, it's great energy, but. The, uh, those days were really difficult, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and that, uh, it must every, have been really every, difficult, really difficult. I mean, I can't even imagine. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? What, what relieved me hmm. intuitively, apparently, uh, by feeling it in the morning uh, at four o'clock every morning. I stood up, I rose, you know, out of bed, and uh, uh, did my breathing exercises. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, I could go inside my myself a, a, into the physiology. And if with closed eyes, I could see light and all that and all kinds of sensations, you know, tapping into the chemistry using breathing techniques. And uh, so peaceful, so, so uh, going so deep and uh, make me feel really, really uh, connected and uh, OK in control because cr- grief Grief uh, takes away your control. Hmm. So uh, uh, that's uh, that's the way I uh, regained control and energy 
because grief a long time takes a lot of energy and i had no time to have no energy right i had to take care of four kids yeah and so how old were they I at the time um the the youngest then was 95 i say 88 so was seven years old hmm. the oldest one was 12 hmm. yeah yeah I, yeah i mean that's how do you even begin to do that life what did life look like like a daily a day in the life how do you even you know just you and the four kids i was thinking about this this morning about you because i was trying to just get one of our kids in boots and i'm like how did Wim do this with four kids? You know, ah, uh, yeah, uh, we got uh, some adaptive powers inside. Eh? If we are able to climb Kilimanjaro in one day, <laughs> that means you got to be open. You got to be open and love what you do, and stay uh, at the core of yourself. Then you are able to do so much more, and to uh, 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 and you uh, uh, it enables you to adapt. We got so much more potential. I think uh, if if uh, I would have had my wife, you know, I would have had uh, ten kids because hmm. I, I just love it. It's not a, it's it's a vice versa thing too. Uh. Mm -hmm. They give you a lot of energy as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, so, uh, I love kids. You were doing the breathing techniques even back then. When did you? When was your first encounter? with the extreme cold uh, uh, when i was 17 17 is when it all began and uh, I, I just felt attracted to the water in the winter i uh, went in i felt great and then i knew this is it yeah and it gave me such a rush so the other day i came back and the rush came back again mm. Rush is nothing more than the right hormones uh, 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 counteracting with the impact of of the cold. Yeah. So it, it, it makes your uh, system, your chemistry flowing. Yeah. And uh, uh, and so that gives a rush. It, it's hormones, and it's nice. So then I began to learn. Uh, uh, to become aware that breathing makes the difference, and so I got I uh, learned to use the breathing, and thus annihilate the the force of the cold impact hmm. to you know to control it, yeah. and to and then the freezing water is felt like warm water, hmm. and that's amazing. You just you inherently started doing it. Yes. Yeah. And it made me able, like a, a couple of months later, I could stay like uh, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes mm. under under the ice. Yeah. And feeling such a power inside, such a chemistry created. And it, 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 that's why the cold is my, uh, the cold is my uh, teacher. What, what attracted you to it, you think? At that time, Feeling. I just felt it so, and uh, 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 I was uh, I was looking always for there is more than meets the eye. Uh, I, I looked into physiology, into a lot of books and esoteric disciplines, etc., etc. But it never could get me into the uh, the real depth of my physiology, and the call did. Hmm. Well, brings you right over there. It's only your mind blocking the way. So I got rid of the mind. I got in the deeper parts where the mind is not minding anymore. But it, the, the brain is really functioning. You know, adrenaline, feeling, yeah. sensation, deep sensation, awareness, and all that. Where there is no minding, it's just feeling. Yeah. And the cold is very, very righteous with that. Merciless as well in the beginning, but it's like the wine. In the beginning it's sore, in the end it's good. When, when, when you were six, seven, eight, nine, ten, what did you want to be when you grew up? I, I was, 
Yeah, I, I had a, a older brother. He was five years older mm -hmm. than I. And he, he, when he went, he went hitchhiking to India from from the Netherlands, hmm. and, and to Turkey first, first to Turkey, then to Maroc, then to India. And I, the the way he came back of doing something out of the ordinary, yeah, I really felt that as mystical. Yeah, and that being mystical was really what I wanted uh, as well. And uh, uh, you know, my, my parents they mm -hmm. uh, they uh, had a poor uh, income and all that. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun, and there were a lot of games we did. So we had mm -hmm. a lot of love, and yeah. it was good. It was a good thing. But they always told us. You have to be become a doctor, or mm -hmm. at best, be at best possible as possible in the school, and become this and that because society is putting in fears, it's putting in stress, mm -hmm. and it's not really getting into the natural mode of creativity mm -hmm. of a person yeah. to become somebody for real, yeah. who's in charge of his own feelings and sensations yeah. constantly. So. I, 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 the, the, and you don't know as a young kid. Yeah. But you you go by your intuition. Yeah. You saw your brother. Your brother was a big influence. You saw him follow the non typical path and doing something yeah. out of the ordinary. Yes. Yeah. And he was my example then. Yeah. And what did, uh, What did your parents do? Uh, my 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 mother was a a, a very intelligent uh, mother. I had, but. Those days, after being married, you were not allowed to work. Really? Like a, a, a normal job. Hmm. Was, you were not allowed. You had to stay home. Mm -hmm. Those were those days. Eh? Got it. And, and the father is the one who takes care of the income. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah. So, uh, but she was, a, 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 she was intelligent, you know, cognitive intelligence. Very simple farmer. Uh, farmer's daughter and my father was more of the city mm -hmm. and he, he worked in mines hmm. charcoal mines so but he he, he got these hernias so uh, 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 he invalidated he was invalidated uh, uh, at a certain point he couldn't work he was just anymore. too tough on his body yes yes and uh, so he was a lot at home and I think it's nice to have your father at home. Yeah. You can play with him. He played a lot with the cards and playing soccer, mm -hmm. chess, uh, checkers, and and uh, and all kinds of games. And that was mm -hmm. actually what was nice. Yeah. I prefer to have fathers at home. <laughs> what big lesson did you learn from your dad and mom? Because it seems like they did instill with your brother and you just following the non-typical path some way, somehow. They... Thanks oh, yes. Uh, the, uh, the, the one thing uh, my father taught me was being yeah, like a gypsy. Hmm. And my mother was a moral, ethical, very Catholic person. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and not drinking, no smoking, no nothing, just going to the church and taking care of kids. She thought every kid, we were nine, every kid was the presence of God. Yeah. And uh, that, uh, you learn of a woman like that who is, has her belief. Just share belief. That's what I learned of my mother. Mm. And uh, and uh, uh, and then w what my brother was doing, he was trying to get out of this suppressive state, social status of ours. Yeah. And he went on to the university and uh, becoming an anthropologist and... Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and doing all this stuff, uh, you know, uh, like hitchhiking. Mm -hmm. have, uh, you don't have money? Okay, hitchhike. Yeah. And, uh, right. and, and that, that, that really cut through the rigid patterns of being in an oppressed social status. Yeah. And uh, that's why I, I, I wanted, I followed, I, I, I was intrigued yeah. by, uh, by him. So, uh, I went into these esoteric disciplines or traditions and cultures as well. When I was 12, I was going into psychology, hmm. into Hinduism, right. into Buddhism, 
and and in those days it was still really you know abs, uh, absolutely uh, uh, out of the ordinary to do that it, it was all almost sacrilegious yeah. right right so, something like that you know yeah. now it's a, a common thing but those days were d- different but I, I really was attracted to this mystical part and uh and uh, that, then I took it on, and years and years I followed all kinds of uh, esoteric disciplines like yoga, Buddhism, Sufism, etc., and uh, uh, cultures and traditions and languages, and books and all that. Yeah. But it re- not could not really get to this depth I really was looking for. Yeah. And that's what when when at seventeen, age of seventeen, uh, the cold came in. It got into my physiology yeah. in the depth. And then, you know, intuitively, instinctively, you know. And once you know, you know, <laughs> there you go. So after that first encounter and you kept going back, what was the, the next extreme thing that you, extreme feat that you tried? Uh, staying one night out in freezing temperatures, in your shorts, or even naked, hmm. outside, uh, you know, all night through. Wow. And it, it gives you a, a, a consciously a, a confidence. And, yeah. uh, you know, you you just have been... You can do the, anything because you did yeah, that. You have been on the other side, and you know it from the inside. Yeah. And, and that's great. And that's... That makes you feel uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, very silent. It's all in there. It's not out there. It's in here. Wow. You become silent and confident and you feel the depth. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's him. That's him, Jeremy. Wow. What's your mission? What's your, what drives you to keep doing this? What's your... Uh, yeah. My mission is to bring happiness, strength and health uh, uh, for everybody. Uh, that means love, and uh, and uh, and the love of of, of that, we, uh, I'm endorsing it uh, by scientific uh, scrutiny. Yeah, you know by uh, by by ciphers and figures and statistics. So to take away the speculation, to take away uh, the the doubtfulness, to take away the 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 absence of confidence uh, of confidence. And believe, so actually, I'm bringing back the belief that we uh, should love each other. Hmm. And now, scientifically endorsed, we are able. Wh- what does a mother want for his child? Yeah, isn't to it, be happy? Isn't yeah. it happy, strong, and healthy? Sure. Okay, we will show just that, and that's my mission. That people can control this. Yes. Yeah. I, I, and it's not like being Puritan, you know, yeah. all the day doing yoga. Is that, you know, these guys, once again, with the research program, they drank like Templars. <laughs> yeah? they, they had a good time, but uh, right. during the day, they were really on to it, right. training like hell. Yeah. And they got to heaven. I mean, heaven is within. That means yeah. control. And then when a bacteria comes in, no chance. Yeah, you know, that, that that's great, and uh, 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 and this is the way. It's not being, you know, very rigid in your yeah. in, in your in, in your training pat- patterns or or your patterns of thinking. It's not being rigid. It's just learning to feel again. Yeah, and that there uh, that there is the possibility and the confidentiality. Yeah, the confidence. You get back confidence. Is that peace? Yeah. Once you know you are able to get to some place, you don't have the urge so much to yeah. go to it. Yeah, I mean, since it's inspired insider, we might always ask, "What's been the lowest point in your life, and then how you push through the tough time?" That that that's uh, the loss of my wife. Hmm. The loss of my love. That, yeah. That's it. And uh, uh, because anything else, anything else I can deal with. Right. But it, it takes two to, you know, to dance the tango or yeah. to 
to rock and roll and and uh, I love I love I, I love I, I love my wife. I yeah. love the children. I, that's such a beautiful thing. So uh, that's the life itself. Uh, uh, so, uh, f- but for the uh, for the, for the rest, yeah. that's it. No, oh, it's the love of the life. That's it. That's the as woman. tough as it gets. Yeah. Is, yes, this is as, as tough as it gets. Yes, the loss of my wife. Yes. Yeah. I mean, at that point, you didn't have the same knowledge you do now. What did you do then to to cope? Exactly. I did it instinctively and intuitively. I I needed to be there for my kids. Yeah. The, very cruel in that sense too. Yeah. It doesn't give you a, a, a time to think about the loss. It makes you, you got to take care of the kids. Yeah. Now shut up and go do it. Right. Here you got the energy. I won't be, it won't be bothered. We will stash away the grief and uh, you will work, work it out later. But your uh, grief has its ways to mutate. And it gets it gets in it gets into the life and it influences the life in a different way, yeah. and you don't understand it anymore. But it's like um, it's suppressing you, yeah. and, uh, and and finally you can work it out. But it takes years. But uh, nature tells a father who lost his dearly dear wife, staying there with four kids. Yeah. Stay, you got to take care of the kids. Yeah. And that's what I did. So I, I learned a whole lot and life is beautiful, but it can be very difficult and very hard sometimes. Yeah. But uh, with the right belief and the right control chemically yeah. inside, in, uh, follow your intuition and instinct and it all come together. Yeah. Just breathe better, have cold showers, stay on focus. What's been the proudest moment? For you, proudest, uh, uh, many proud uh, with my children of yeah. their. Uh, I was always uh, with the school. Uh, I played a lot with my kids, and I actually copied my parents. Yeah, you know, being papa and mama, uh, uh, both of them, and, uh, just in school, have your head on your shoulders. Then the follow, uh, rest will follow, and I played a lot with them. Yeah. So um, I'm very cosmopolitan. So I'm I'm not just of being Catholic or uh, uh, Islamic or, or or Hinduistic or whatever uh, or just science. No, I'm all all these things. So I wasn't really narrowing their consciousness. I see. Uh, and so. I, I, I took them to school and then I saw they um, that they performed really well in school. Yeah. And they all, yeah, you know, passed the university and all that. And they all have their masters. And it's not be. I, I think it's because I learned them to how to focus, hmm. just to be uh, out of love and but also very, you know, making them very conscious of the fact that they are able to develop the brain uh, uh, in, a, in a natural state and uh, uh, bringing about the best. Now, that, that made, made me proud, of course. Yeah. Then when the television came, you know, this is a very interesting part. Yeah. I'm very proud of my scientific breakthroughs. Huh? Mm-hmm. That, that, that's, well, but when I began to have contact with the television, like 16, 17, 18 years ago, yeah. then... I began to do these records, these uh, feeds mm. on television. And when one, w- once again, w- w- whenever I did a record or yeah. a feed or this or that, I had time to cry. It's when I worked out the grief I had mm. of my wife, because I uh, I got out of the uh, the, the ordinary, the conditioning, mm. and then I had space to cry. And uh, 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 and then that, that, uh, it built it up, uh, and then science came in, and when these scientific experiments came in, that really made me proud. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow! Recognition for all I said and all I believed in all the time, 
And right now we have scientific endorsement. Hey, man, that, yes, recognition makes you silent, makes you proud. A proud man is just standing in the in the blast of the wind. Yeah. And that was me. So right now I, I'm also convinced and uh, uh, what makes me really proud now is to help all the children of the world. Yeah. I'm into that. For that we need not only money, we need to change the way we think. Yeah. And that's done by uh, scientific scrutiny because it goes first through the universities, no speculation, then it gets into the books, and then it will come top down. Yeah. We got to change the way we think. You'll get there. Throughout. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? You're getting there. You'll, you'll get there. Yeah. We get there. Yeah. And that's, that's why we meet, Jeremy. Yeah. Because you do good work. And I, uh, we both, we become stronger. Uh, you make me stronger uh, in my message, bringing it out. And your questions, they, they, this is a, a colloquium doctor, man. This is an intelligent conversation. Yeah. Uh, and it's a mental, uh, good level. Everybody is able to tap in and to reach. And this is the way we spread the love. Yeah. But now, non-speculative love. Yeah. It's about hormonal systems and it's about immune systems. Right. It's b explaining that everybody in just a matter of one day or 10 minutes or whenever you uh, like, showing that we have the possibility to reconnect right. with the endocrine systems and the immune systems, uh, thus bringing about happiness, health and strength right. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I love the mission, helping every children in the world. You know, my daughter this morning, four-year-old, tried to leave the house. She's like, I don't want to wear my coat. I'm like, that's fine. I'll teach you these breathing techniques. Let's go. And my, <laughs> and my wife's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, don't worry. Leave your coat. Let's go. <laughs> and then she put her coat on. She's like, this guy's crazy. But I think you will help all the children in the world. You know? So, right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So I really appreciate, you know, when any, I have one last question, but any other lessons, anything that we didn't talk about already that you think would be important to mention? Yes. Um, my final goal is to help all the children because we got to change the world. We, we got to change the world. That means bring about the right knowledge, non-speculative uh, 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 and, and, uh, and bring back the confidence and believe that we are able to bring about happiness, strength and health for everybody. Yeah. We will do it scientifically. And right now we got a row uh, with the materials we have and the, and the boat we have. But uh, it, it'll grow. It's maybe the Ark of Noah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, we can uh, use symbols, whatsoever, but I use signs to prove it. Yeah, we gotta bring back belief that love is the one, and love consisting, uh, composed by strength, health, and happiness. Yeah, and those are simply the immune systems and the endocrine systems. And we, I, I want to get more research, maybe through your channel. Yeah, I'm calling out. For other scientists, hey man, let's let's deal. Let, let, let's get into research. Yeah, who's that the ideal people to to hear your message and get in touch with you? Is it like PhDs? Is it who are the ideal people? I think to this spread your message is, and that, that's a great channel. What is another channel? For example, Hollywood, mm. and and another one is science mm -hmm. so the, the three of them if they work together it's like the three musketeers what was the first one is it hollywood science what was the first one podcasts oh podcast i got it your work your work is a window it's a great uh, great window yeah very important yeah great work yeah 
Well, we'll make that happen. You're already making it happen. And um, last question, Wim. Um, tell people where they can find Wim Hof Method. Um, where should they? What should they check out on your site or um, to either take your class or I know you have an in-person uh, class that you run as well. Yes. You know, we got a website for that. Mm -hmm. And that's the inner fire mm -hmm. dot NL. NL is for the Netherlands. Right. Uh, uh, very soon, we are working with people in the US yeah. right now. And, uh, you know, Lance Hamilton. Yeah. He is a, he's yeah. the big wave surfer. Sure. He's a, fr he's a friend of mine. Hmm. And uh, we are going to work together. He's a great guy. He's a he's the, he, he's he's doing this method. Re, uh, uh, he's really onto it. Yeah. And uh, yes, uh, uh, you know the U.S. market is great. These people are v very motivated. I think we 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 need to get into the U.S. Uh, uh, better. Yeah. Because it, the this is is, is like the, uh, uh, the uh, it's like the holy grail. Yeah. Because we get into the DNA. And that, uh, that's it. We get into the DNA, the stem cell, the telomere, uh, right. and, uh, and, uh, and we are able to change the chemistry in just no time. We, we found out the simpleness and the effectiveness. Yeah. Yeah. So you help me right now. Yeah. And that's good. And what we do right now is the best we can do right now. Yeah. And people who are listening to this, they will understand. They will see the sense of this and they will understand. And, you know, they say the one who looks, he will find. Yeah. And, they, and if they look at this, they will find answers and they will come with their insights, yeah. and their power and contribute. Because in the end, everybody wants to, you know, to experience love and to share the love but they don't know how to do it and what tools are able to uh, overcome the speculation and the hectics of the day and the mm. comfort uh, behavior and all that. Now they will have the tools and they will know. And that's why they will contribute and help because we got to help each other. We are friends. Mm. We, we love each other. We love the life. That's where we are. We can make the change. When's the next time you're going to be in the U.S.? Uh, that's in two months. Two months. I uh, will go to uh, uh, Hawaii. And uh, right now I got a, a Professor uh, Buchel in New York. Mm -hmm. He wants to go, uh, come, uh, go with me from New York to Boston, to Harvard University. Okay. We're going to talk about uh, stem cell research mm -hmm. and then the Yale University. And talk, uh, but I, I, it's still premature. He's yeah. he's he's organizing it. Yeah, and it's got to be done. And yeah. uh, and then I, I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, to Laird Hamilton, and he is organizing. Uh, an idea of mine is uh, to uh, mount uh, the Mount uh, Akea, which is the biggest mountain on Hawaii. Yeah, and uh, it's going from the tropics to the. Do the snow on the mountain, 3,500 meters. Mm. It's like a, a, a 13,000 feet or something. There is snow in the tropics. Mm. And we will go all the way up to the summit and dance all night long, in, <laughs> you know, in short. Yeah. Like the haka, like something very primordial. And, 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 and change the saying, you know, Hawaii about palm trees. No, they will then say, begin to, uh, uh, little by little, begin to uh, say, as cold as on Hawaii. <laughs> so uh, th that's in March. Yeah. Then, uh, then we see because the uh, U.S. is is a, gr a, gr a great country with great people. Yeah. And I like to reach all those people who have such a motivation. And we got the tools. And together, we can change so much for the good. Because yeah. in the end, it's about love and it's about helping the children in the world. Yeah. So that's what we do. Wim, this has been absolutely 
fantastic. I mean, your your energy, your happiness, your love is contagious. And everyone should check out uh, WimHoffMethod.com and InnerFire.nl. And this has been absolutely great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your patience, Jeremy. Uh, I love your work. You're a very good man. Thank you. We keep on. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. <laughs>